It's wonderful to be able to give your cats access to the outdoors. However, you may not want to allow unwanted pets access to your home. This video is designed to walk you through how to install the four-way locking cat door. It offers in-only access, which allows your pet to go in but not out. Out only, allowing your pet to go out but not come in. Open, which offers full access, and locked. This gives you the freedom to control your pet's access to your home. Choose the location of your pet door. Remove the door in which you wish to install your pet door from its hinges. Place the door on a flat cutting surface. We recommend saw horses. There are a few tools you will need to help with your door. These may vary slightly depending on your specific installation. You'll need a pencil, a jig or appropriate saw, a half inch and 3 16 inch drill bit, a 10 to 12 millimeter and 4 millimeter drill bit, a drill, a screwdriver with both a Phillips and flat head, measuring tape, sandpaper, and glue. You will need to determine the height of your pet door based on the height of your cat. To do this, measure from the floor to the bottom of your cat's belly. Now measure from the bottom of the door up, marking the height of your cat. Using the door template provided, align the template line with the height line that you just marked. You must leave at least three inches from the bottom of your door to ensure that the integrity of your door is not compromised. Ensure your template is straight and tape it into place. Using a half inch or 10 to 12 millimeter drill bit, drill a hole in each of the four corners of your template square. Using an appropriate cutting device, cut along the template line. Remove the excess template from the door. Use sandpaper to smooth out any rough edges of the hole that you just cut. Ensure the door is unlocked and remove the pet door flap. Now disconnect the two pieces of the interior pet door frame. This will make your installation go more smoothly. For easier installation, turn your house door over. Now place the exterior frame of your pet door into the hole. Mark the screw holes within the pet door using a pencil or even a drill bit. Remove the exterior frame of the pet door. Now glue your tunnel piece into the interior frame of your pet door. Using a 3 16 inch or 4 millimeter drill bit, drill in the holes that you marked. Three lengths of screws are provided in your packaging. Choose the screw length that is appropriate for your door based on the thickness. Take the interior portion of your pet door with the tunnel and install it in the hole. Using the appropriate length screws that you've chosen, install the screws. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Place the plugs provided into the screw holes within your pet door. Now flip your house door over. You are now ready to reassemble the interior face of your door. Before you do this, confirm that your screws are an appropriate length. If your screws are too long, they could damage the interior face of your pet door. Now snap the interior face plate of the pet door into place. This cat door can also be installed in a wall or thicker door. Additional tunnels may be needed. These can be purchased by contacting customer care. The tunnels will need to be glued together as shown. Next, glue the tunnels into the pet door frame as demonstrated during this installation. It may take a bit of time to acclimate your cat to your new pet door. We recommend that you leave your door fully unlocked during your training period. It may help to tape the flap on your cat door out of the way during this time. We hope that you and your cat will enjoy your new cat door and that you'll both enjoy freedom and independence.